As soon as we kind of anchor, we see the first seal kind of being really intrigued by us, getting in the water, coming like toward us, can start playing. So one first seal gets in the water, does that, and then uh, swim away. So we decide to get on the water with our snorkel and go see what the first seals are all about. Okay guys, usually we do one video per activity, but after our scuba diving tour, something happened so special to Robin that he just couldn't resist making another video about it. But first, right after our scuba diving tour, we head to the largest sea cave in the world. Rico! Rikoriko Cave at the Poor Knights Islands is seriously impressive. It's absolutely huge and is about 80 meters wide and about 30 meters long. And after checking out the cave, we go to a nearby rock where we spotted a few seals earlier and we just wanted to go and check them out. But once we see that they're diving in the water, Robin and some of the scuba diving team head in to join them in the water. It's quite often that experienced scuba divers use those day tours to do one, two, and even sometimes three different dives in order for them to, well, practice their skills or even take more underwater pictures. And that's exactly what they're doing today. But I am invited to join them snorkeling because one of their team is actually just gonna be snorkeling and those seals look super ready to play with us. We really make sure that we are absolutely not intrusive toward the seals. Although it looks like I'm pretty close to them, I'm just basically pushed by the waves. And every time I have an opportunity, I swim away from the rocks in order to give them space. But it doesn't really take long for the seal to join us in the water because they are super curious about what are those big leathery stuff on the water with them. Well, that's us. As soon as they are getting in the water, I am so excited. I've never seen seals that close up in my life, even when we did some seal swimming tours beforehand. And they are so cute and inquisitive. I just can't handle it right now. It's so cool. At first, the seals are taking a respectable distance from us, but very quickly, they realize that we are no threat to them and they come super close to play with us. It's so amazing how agile they are in the water. And because those seals are so agile in the water, it will be absolutely no problem for them to swim away from us and never seeing us again. But they seem to really like our presence and really like the entertainment that we're providing. So they are making sure to come back to us almost every single five minutes to check us out. And it's always a surprise because, well, they are super amazing swimmers. So they just come from behind and just fly past right by me, super close. It's awesome. There are a few times when they actually swim right past me and even touch me with the flippers. It's amazing how close they get to us. And as I'm keeping swimming along the coral reef, just because, you know, I want to explore the whole area, they actually are following me and they are checking me out every two seconds. I can't just swim on my own right now. I am escorted by two fur seals. It's amazing. I turn my head left, right, and every single time I see a seal flying just right past me. It's amazing how agile they are. They are kind of flying around, they are playing together, and they also really love drawing circles around me and actually trying to see if I can catch up with them. It's quite amazing because I'm actually really trying to keep the GoPro stabilized and making sure that, you know, I get a shot of them. But they are so fast and so agile. I'm so impressed. I really feel like I am their piece of entertainment for today. I see their massive googly eyes looking at me and checking me out all the time and I'm pretty sure that with my big mask and snorkel, I look really funny to them too. But they don't seem to mind the way I look, they actually seem to mind the way I swim. I'm really not as fast as they are and they don't like it. It's so amazing to get to see marine wildlife right before my eyes, behaving like if they were in the wild. You can see them interacting together, you can see them catching one or two fish to eat. It's so awesome to get to see that. It's an experience like no other. And it feels absolutely not intrusive since, well, those seals could go away really easily. I'm not the one following them, they are following me. I have to admit, this is cuteness overload. My heart has never beaten that hard in this entire trip, even when doing so many skydives. I love every single second of this encounter with those seals. And best of all, it was a true surprise that wasn't planned whatsoever, that wasn't part of the tour whatsoever. It's just sometimes nature throw you a bone. Robin gets back on the boat with a huge smile on his face and we head back towards the Tutukaka Marina. <laughs> there were so many fishes, that was amazing.
red pigfish, red moki, stranger's wrasse, uh, leather jacket. That wasn't just a leather jacket floating, that was actually a fish. Um, <laughs> All the tire. <laughs> Shopping trolley. That's the UK when you scuba dive in the UK. I saw white jumping trolley. Oh my god, that's so an old tire. Uh, if, if you were scuba diving in the UK, you would actually see a leather jacket. But when you're scuba diving in New Zealand, you see a fish species called a leather jacket.